matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Gentlemen, you know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist. Given all the skills he brings to the table, the question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. For this lightweight scrap, more than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the giant. Big kick. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he told you off the top you had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Hooker gets caught by the inside leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Single collar tie here. And 
there comes the separation now. Oh, big punch land. Just over three minutes to go. Size with this beautiful leg kick. Get right here. Big kick lands. Oh, misses with the jet. That strike blocked by Hooker. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. Ooh! All 25 total strikes have now landed for Josh M. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh! Oh, straight right! Another shot lands upstairs. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Oh, well, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering, nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Round two is next. Ooh, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, it was defensive brilliant. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fight. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. Just misses oh. with the jet. Oh, a huge block there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Going orthodox now. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! And right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Misses with that punch. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating.
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new USC lightweight champion of the world, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? Are you crying? <laughs> I mean, almost, a, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.